Oh, look at this. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Look at this stuff. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right. Let's go do stuff. Let's go to Boulder's Gate right here. We gotta go check out the stash, and then we gotta figure out what's going on with our Kellen. So does that mean if we could keep going this way, it'll be Boulder's Gate? Clustered fires, tents. The absolute. Jesus Christ. Distant silhouettes leave you no doubt. A veritable army swarms the path ahead. Catherick's army. I suppose I could end them all with a bang. But my target is the absolute itself. Yeah, let's head back. We're no match for an army. Yeah, okay. I'm guessing that's a story point. And you know what? Speaking of story, thinking about the Seems simple enough. The world for Boulder Gate 3, where it, it's like all of the maps are pretty large, right? There's a lot of things to explore, there's a lot of things that you can do, and there's a lot of stories to discover. But it's not like the open world games, like, like say, for example, Skyrim, where it's just, you sort of get lost, right? And they were talking about how, like, it's like a ocean, the depth of a kiddie pool. Uh, but I feel like those kind of games, you kind of just get lost in the world and you get bored and then you just decided to leave but games like Baldur's Gate 3 uh, even to a certain degree uh, Witcher 3 especially Witcher 3 where it's a little bit more focused they have a little bit more um, tightly written story where things are a little bit more controlled and even though oh, we know over there we have a bunch of shadows and whatnot trying to avoid them if possible but is there anything interesting here? Anyway, as I was saying, the open world versus, like, I feel like with Baldur's Gate 3, right, the maps are pretty big, but they're not as, they're not open world, and they're, uh, like, very wide corridors, basically. And I think the, these actually work really well. Like, it gives you a lot of stuff to explore, but also keep you very, very focused, because it, there's only, you know, so much stuff to do. Let's go inside. What is this place? Are you dead? Here to see the doctor? Jesus Christ. Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Will we? It's not time to wait. I need to see the doctor right now. No thanks. I'll take my chance out there. You know what? Fine. It's fine. I'll get in the line. Be patient. Be well. Gosh, she's so creepy. Patience treasure tree. Uh, let's read. This exhausted log lists each and every patient to have sought healing in Rithwin. Along with their ailment, the minor injuries and common diseases of the early pages gave away to critical wounds and deep lacerations and repercussions of ba the repercussions of battle. Several unbound scrolls have been slid among the final pages, demanding the healer turn away wounded harpers and Selenites and reserve their tonics for wounded Dark Justice Seers on the order of General Catherick Thorn. I mean, yeah, sounds about right. What if I go this way? Oh, not so well. I don't have time to wait. Join the line. As a fool, join the line, you, you will, will be, seen. be seen. I'm no patient. I've been hired as a spiritual advisor, pretend to be ill. Wait, my wounds may not be visible on the outside, but I need help. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's hire a spiritual advisor. That's something Force Comfort can do, right? And let's roll it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Such uh, cruelty. Fine, fine. I'll get back in there. You will be seen. Uh, wait, my wounds may not be visible on the outside. Yeah, but I need help go with this one and let's roll it it's gonna be tough though oh we did it nice there's a hint of recognition in her eyes as she studies you with the unseen wounds of war the doctor's hand will close them down to the theater be swift be saved okay cool 
let's read this one. What does it say? Today I snapped at a good friend of mine, the Elf Song. I'm embarrassed about it now, but then... But not then. This prickly mood had come over me because for the first time in ages I was thinking hard about my condition. Ideas for elixirs came to me. It would have been a very powerful elixir since they usually only last until the drinker sleeps. Uh, potions are much more limited in their application, not lasting as long. Though, you can combine potions for simultaneous effects, whereas the digestive system can only handle one elixir at a time. Just remember, when in doubt, rule 3. Lack of scales giving me trouble. Uh, another day in margin. Elixirs, only one at a time until you take a long rest. Potions can benefit from multiple potion effects at the same time, but don't last as long as elixirs. Huh. Okay. Surge's memorandum. Let's read that. Memorandum. All Rhythman House of Healing medical personnel from Marcus Thorm, Malice Thorm, has surgeon. It comes to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetics resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. Nurse Litwin informs me that this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and gets them to our lady's final embrace. Never have a search for abject, abject nonsense. Anesthetic is a tool to relieve our years. Uh, of my subject screaming as I applied the blade. Not a mercy to be freely dispensed to living corpses. Uh, so has saith Shar. Only in the infirm suffering may we forget our own. <laughs> oh boy, that's pretty cruel. Uh, the next to ignore this missive will feel my scalpel without sedative. I will simply have to endure the shrieks. Jesus Christ. So basically, you know what? At least he's giving them sedatives. You know, could have been worse. Staff, staff betting pool? What are we betting on? Wait. Rules. Foreign body must be lodged in something cavity. Once the guess is made, it may not be made again. Minimum bet one gold. One bet, pull 11 gold, chicken egg, wine bottle, carrot, ogre's finger, candlestick, when I, oh. Live rat, and yuck, indeed? Uh, three bets, around uh, three bets, 17 gold, quill, cremation urn. So what are we looking for? Form body must be lodged in something cavity. Oh, so they're guessing what was stuck in the body. Oof. A shark's temptation. Mm -hmm. That seems nice. Uh, request for supplies. Let's read that. Chief Chirurgeon. Harborside Hospital, Baldur's Gate, from Sister Anne Ludwig, Dark Cloak, Rithwin House of Healing, Urgent. Sir Madam, we have reached dire times in Rithwin, war has come, do you not teach that it is our duty to mend all who break, comfort all who ail, without regard for the gods they worship or the champions they heed. Yet our surgeon Malice Storm, aside by his own creed, abide by his own creed, uh, the will of Shar, he might say, and I dare not argue with him or any Thorm. He allows supplies to dwindle, leaves some patients' injuries to fester so he may study, then commands me to nurse only doctors this year that seek treatment. I beg you, sir, madam, please deliver us aid so I might close every tear and clean every wound, even those of harpers and selunites. We will humbly accept all you can offer, potions, herbs, sutures, even clerics. Help us to heal. With gratitude, and Lidwin. Interesting. Uh, I mean, I don't know where to go first, to be honest. Let's go this way first. Seems like Lidwin is a good one. A good character. Uh, lock. Kimura? Uh, let's save first. Oh, I got a loot. Get to... Oh, wait a minute. Something's on my mind. Yes. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. 
Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. That's Arabella's father. Or was Arabella's father. Jesus. Uh, Arabella was the little... Oh, God. Good thing we saved. Arabella was the little girl that we saved from the grove. I think she was trying to steal something. And whatever her name was, the druid was tr trying to punish her for it. And we managed to save her, but... I want to have a word. Don't call the doctor yet. Oh. Yes, yes. That's Arabella's father. Or was Arabella's father. Yeah, why are you treating a dead body? Not dead. Merely medicated. To ease the pain. Is that so? The patient's definitely dead. Been dead for a while, judging by the smell. I know the stillness. His body is simply conserving energy as he heals. The patient is stable. Is that a good idea to do something like this? Slay of hand, give the corpse a poke. Uh, you know what? Force comp wouldn't lie. I wonder if, she, if, if the nurse will go crazy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they're dead. The patient is asleep. The sedative is quite strong, you see. Okay, why are we giving it a subtle poke? You know what? Let's poke. What happens? You know, I feel like Forrest Gump is the pokey type. Let's roll it. Hell yeah. I see movement. The patient's awake. Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, no, that's sort of. Might I purchase some supplies? Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Are they alive or dead? Undead. Okay, so they're dead. Well, undead. 315? Jesus. Okay, well, no thank you. Indeed, the price is so outrageous the game crashes. So what happened to Ar Arabella? Get to Baldur's Gate. An old map, Druid style. Appears to be hidden roots out of an Emerald Enclave. The destination mark is Baldur's Gate. Can you hear me? Only way. You... Jesus Christ. Don't waste Where is that coming step. from? Wait, wait. Where is she? Is that her? Arabella. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. What are you doing out here? Hey! I know you! You're... Oh no... Twist him up! Oh shit! That's amazing! Damn! She's so Isn't good! That Arabella? The little girl Corgan nearly killed? Sorry. Knocks the wind right out of me. Um, yeah, I'd be more impressed if you'd actually killed her. What are you doing out here? It's not safe. That's a powerful spell. Where did you learn how to do that? What are you doing out here? It's not safe. I was looking for mom and pops. When Zevlor, when he, well, well he's, he ran away, an right? Mom yelled, run. So we ran. I could hear him run behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. You notice the girl shivering in fear and anger. She is not yet ready to hear the truth of her parents' fate. Oh boy, okay. I'll find your parents, you can count on me. I'll think about it, my hands are full with these cultists. And how much gold he'll give me? No. Forget it, kid. You can take care of yourself from the looks of it. Your parents are dead. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll find your parents. You can count on me. Thanks, mister. I knew you'd help me again. 
The vines won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. Just till you find Mum and Pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. Of course you can stay at my camp. Yeah, you know what? Go to your last light. I think that's better. Is that better? I mean, I had escort her there, right? So there's an inn called Last Light. Alfira is there. You'd be no safe. No way. I mean, no? I'm sure you think that. But you ain't seen what I've seen. I don't trust no right. one sides myself no more. Save three. Mum, Pops, and you. Okay, well. Take me in. I won't make sure. a peep. Cross my heart and hope to die. Sure, 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 sure. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Stay at the camp. Oh, yeah. thanks. You're the best. So you send mom and pops there. I'll be waiting, hero man. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, so these guys are just gonna be stuck there. Because I will have to kill them when. I'll don't strike I? you down. <laughs> Well, uh, who are you? you? Sense a swell of grief. Before the shadows took her, this woman mourned someone lost in battle. Oh man, every single one of these shadows have a very, very sad story, and it's just depressing, you know? Just depressing. You sense a matriarch's flush of pride. She will soon be a grandmother, and the child will bear her name Muldred. Mordred. Over than through. Oh man, there's a lot of tombstones. I bet we can find some interesting stories here. Lies here. Sister Kevin, a more devoted mendicant, never lived. In memory of Kayla Bellsworth, thrice married, thrice widowed, always smiling. Here <laughs> lies Bronick Laro, blacksmith of renown. May he make iron sing in the afterlife. And just little tidbits of story, a little bit of world building. Here rots Treston Brumwild, philanderer and wicked excuse for a husband. <laughs> May the crows use this marker as a privy. Alright. Guess uh, he wasn't very well liked, was he? In memory of Reuven Corley, who lived stoically and died without complaint. <laughs> died without complaint. Ooh, what is this? Skeleton? What you have? True love's caress. Found a caress. One of the magical pair of rings. Allowed a wearer to receive warding bonuses from a creature wearing the matching ring. Okay, I'll take that. Bounded by love. Wife's diary. Let's read. In the fifth year of our union, we faced the biggest hurdle yet. My parents became quite ill when we became their caretaker. It was a dark and difficult time filled with emergencies of every possible type. Gone were the easeful days in which our time was our own. Our day were filled with work, each other, and little else. During our darkest moment, I wondered if we'd survive it. But the bond of love we had was resilient. It would bend and bend and bend, but would not break, no matter the pressure. That's good for them. Here lies Micaeus, taken before his time. More rip cages. In memory of Eberk Troll Leader, his tall tales shall be greatly missed. Oh, this is like a mass grave or something? Oh, God. Graveyard di Diary. Corpse Rose. That'll fit in my pack. Oh. Oh, they did say Corpse Roses will be around the crypts and graveyards and all that stuff. So let's see, can we light the candle here? No. Tombstone. Here rests Callista Freeclaw, legendary brawler. Died in his sleep, to the surprise <laughs> of many. Oh, what is this? Oh, nothing. You got nothing. Okay. What is this? That seems like a nice, uh... What do you call it, uh... 
Ooh, what is this? Ice spy robe. Armor of Agathai. Grant resistance to cold damage. Yeah, that's interesting. I'll grab that. Looks good too. Nice. Always pays off to explore a little bit. Do we have a key for this? No. Let's lockpick this. And pretty easy. Let's roll it. Hell yeah. Critical success. Unlock it so much the, the f door flies off the hinges. Alright, let's read. The moment is nigh. War has been brewing and now it overflows. When Ketherick turned us toward Shar, I followed him in appearance, if not in heart. This is my home and will not remove from it, no matter what. I watched at a distance as the darkness here grew, as Kithrick's grief brought him further and further from life itself. As he gathered his army, I prayed for his defeat. As the Harpers march upon our little village, our little beautiful village, I can only hope Kithrick will be felt at last, and Rithwin can begin to heal from this nightmare. Who's this? Sarcophaga? Ooh, what do we have here? Booze of apparent death. Ah. One special rock captain. Not sure how useful it is to feign death. Like, what does it do? Do they have anything on them? I know that corpse. Arabella's father. Ah, <sighs> man, it's. Uh, I feel so bad, dude. I feel so bad. Poor Arabella. Poor all these guys, actually. Having to go through such a, a traumatic event. You know what I'm saying? A wraith? Oh, that's the other bunch we were dealing with here. Alright, alright, alright. Well, we're gonna chill with them. We don't need them just yet. We don't need to fight them just yet. What's over here? Oh, that goes downstairs. Ooh. Okay, that looks creepy as hell. Oh, that's the operating theater. Alright, let's do a quick save. Um, I wonder if we'll start a story event as we get here. Ten two scalpels, so I may say the same of them. Jesus. Uh, the suit stained scroll, list of dead, specifically casualties of battle, dated 986 DR, about half a millennium ago. And so. What? 500 years ago. Titus Craft, just this year. Decapitation. Out of Avon, just this year. Blood Loss. Unknown Salunite. Arcane Burns. Unknown Smash Skull. More and more, just this year. Split in two. Unknown Druid. Crushed Windpipe. From these names follow hundreds of others. A final index catalog object plucked from various corpses, daggers, pins, and jewelry of all sorts. Oh, so that's what they were betting on, yeah? Well, let's go for it. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's do a quick save. The oh, who's this? Of the sisters is to soothe. It's like for Edward Scissorhand over here. Is an extension of Shah. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Here, it's comfort. Here, the very melody of mercy. <laughs> Jesus. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Uh, okay, well, I don't wish to study only to lift a curse on this land. A student, yes, please do enlighten me. Uh, you will stop the sick spectacle at once. What's wrong with this man done to deserve such torture? 
You know, if I say, what's wrong with this man? What wrong has this man done to deserve such torture? He will say, no, no, this is not torture. This is healing. Eh? Healing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a student. Yes, do please enlighten me. Uh, what is the Forrest Gump thing to say? He will be straight up, right? I don't wish to study only to lift the curse on this land. That's what he will say. I think that's a Forrest Gump answer. Let's go with that. I don't wish to study only to lift the curse on this land. A curse? Nay, a cure that leads to the very pinnacle of being. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to oh, peace. Jesus. Only a beast of a man toys with his victim. Entertaining, if not efficient. See? What, what the fuck? is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look how the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. Um, I don't know about that. Examine the sisters and their implements. Religion, recall what you know of Shara's teaching. The sisters aren't ready. They will make me sick instead of curing me. You know, let's go with religion, even though it's... Uh... Let's talk about Shara's teaching, yeah. What do we... What have we learned about this? Uh, let's roll it. Hell yeah, critical success. Beautiful, let's go. You remember Ashar and Maxim. Go forth and sow doubt, but do not compel it, for only the willing may know the lady's embrace. Uh, okay, your subject's attainted. Shar's succor must only be granted to the willing. Uh, investigation. Examine the sisters and implement. Um, oh, so if we do these checks, we will ha open up new dialogue options. Is that what it is? What? Your subject is tainted. Shard sucker must only be granted to the willing. Let's go with the see what it says. Mm -hmm. Only the willing may know the lady's embrace. You know her teaching well. And yet, these sisters must exercise their gifts. For the art of absence lies in its execution. How to proceed? I wonder. Hmm. Persuasion. The sisters require a willing volunteer, a master of the art. Why not have them hone their skills on each other? <laughs> There's no greater joy than watching a master at work. You are their teacher. Who better to volunteer? Oh, now that's a good way to go. I'm not entirely sure if that's the Forrest Gump answer. I don't think any of these is the Forrest Gump answer. And I feel like that is the best answer, though. There's no greater joy than watching a master at work. You are their teacher. Who better to volunteer? That is definitely true. So let's get them bonuses. Wow, a 21. So let's roll it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no, no, not a natural 20. God damn it. Let's roll again. Nope. And roll again. Nope. And roll again. Is that a natural 20? Yes, hell yeah, let's go. I see now. By example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. K. 
can't believe that worked. Come, sisters, soothe me. Jesus. So he does believe in what he preaches, which is very impressive. Christ, okay. A nap of the day keeps the scalpels away. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. Wow, that was not. Paralyzing critical. Once for a long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the warrior can paralyze the target for two turns. Not so great. What is this? Crystal light lens. Some money. Supply pack. Bar to the loot. Oh yeah. And the key. Gee, what does that have to... Hold on. What does that have to do with Arkhalen? We found a loot. Bearing Art's initial in House of Healing. Maybe playing for him will bring him back to his senses. Okay, that makes sense. Oh boy, that was... Uh, wow, that was intense. Uh, yeah, holy crap, dude. That was... Uh, I guess that's the key to this door right there. Holy shit, that was intense, dude. If you recognize Shara as goddess of creation or Saluna as goddess of destruction, yet both are true. Born in primordial ebb and flow of time, they forge Abir Toriel together and Chantia, mother of life, sprang into existence. Light and dark hung in perfect balance, embraced by Shar, enlightened by Saluna. Yet their creation were cold and distant, and Chantia prayed for warmth. The simple request divided the sisters, driving them to conflict. But it was Saluna that forced True Flame into Abriel Turiel, sparking the sun. How could Shar not be harmed by such a betrayal? Forced to war, forced to war against both the light of the sun and the light of the moon. As the goddess tore each other's asunder, they formed new gods and new conflicts, all for the sake of little warmth. The lesson is this, to put selfish comfort over the fate of an existence is folly. For those who understand, the Lady of Laws is always listening. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, oh, what is it? What does this go? Oh, that climbs up here. Climbs up on the roof. Oh no, there's another level. A gilded chest. Locked, of course. Let's lock pick. But oh, wow, I'm still like very uh, shook from that moment there. Jesus, that was not expected at all. Just, uh, wow. The Lord, the Lords of Madness. Oh boy, that's too much to read, man. You can pause if you want to read it. Lockpick. Wow, that was, uh, oof. That was intense, dude. Fucking intense. Uh, book poetry? Who are these two? They seem to have a good time. Interesting. They got drinks. They're sitting there. They died in each other's embrace. A book of hand, hand, 
a book of handwritten poems. The ink almost completely faded before a few enduring words. I hold my breath for the sun to fall. Free in the hot collapse of day, I'm brought to you. While rhythm sleeps, the world entires is us. Is ours. The grass are bed, the dew are silver candles, the moon and the stars are private canopy. And you, the brightest of them all, my light, my heart, my world. I will watch the stars with you to the end of time, but my night never arches into day. And the sleepy nothing of the sunlit hours will mutter on, so instead I shall find eternity in a moment, and by the glance of moonbeams in your eyes will I be brought to rest, as rest will be enduring still longing for naught but itself. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Death and Divinity, a godly guide. That sounds interesting. Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed down from hand to hand. And, of course, too powerful a god to cause the game to crash. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's see if death gets us this time. Countless Aeons, it was Yegrao? Yergal? The lord of the end of everything presided over mortality with his unblinking stare. Until even he grew weary. Young Bale, Bane, and Mikro. Mirkul must have thought themselves conquerors, and when they came for the gods of death, yet they used their ambition to free himself. Mirkul claimed primacy over death from Yagol's bargain. But even he does not rule death alone. What is murder if not the most violent of deaths? Seized by Bale in his incessant greed? What need would there be for noble Kilimvor to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. Even death can die? Oh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Let's go to the doctor's private path. Or, uh, what is that thing called? Private study, perhaps? Study. Let's go check out the office. Do a quick save, just in case. You never know what could happen. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Key. I suppose that key is the elevator door. Surgery and physiology. A Sharon's primer. Let's read. Every page of this medical text is crisp and unblemished, and every quill stroke precise. Sharon aphorisms and general philosophies accompany the explicit diagram of surgical guidelines. Only with sacrifices is mastery gained. So as Our Lady said, and so I say to you, dearest reader, the darkness is infinite, but a master's technique, uh, the, but a master's teaching are not. When his wisdom is exhausted and his pupil fully versed, there shall come time for one final lesson. He will become the subject, fully laid bare for his students to consult, examine, and dissect. The sisters shall one day know me, first in whole, last in part. Only then will they be masters. Fitting. Painted chest. Perhaps that's what the key's for. I guess not. Poisoner's Glove. Evanum. Whenever you deal poison damage, the target needs to succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned. Sure. I feel like there's a lot of poisons and stuff going on, Tarell so perhaps. And whatever lies beyond the stars. Interesting. Take all of that, obviously. I'll have a seat. Of course, we'll have a seat in this one too. Why not? What's in this? We'll take all of that. Wardrobe. Oh, that's a nice shirt. Alright, we'll take all of that, of course. We'll leave nothing unlooted. Uh, nothing's here. Oh, what is that? A judge of the Damned. I think we've read that. Yep. Yeah. We'll unlock that one as well. There's a lot of doors for a little office. Alright, but holy crap, this, uh, still a little, you know, let's see what they have to say. Be still, darling. Let Sister Anya comfort you. 
Oh, it's kind of weird. Okay. You know what? Let's go back. Uh, let's go heal up Colin. Yeah. And let's see what's the deal. <laughs> okay. Saying Daniel's name. Yes. He must know more. I found a loot. It seems to have we belonged to, to the Flaming Fist. Yeah, I found a loot. Good. Its music might help restore him. Show it to him. Pull out the loot you found and play a little. But I would be terrible at it. Trapped there. He needs help. Whoa. Calm. He just pops right up. Breathe. <laughs> You've been trapped in the shadow fell for a century. Take a moment to clear your mind. A century? A century. You'll hull sin. Thaniel said to find you. You must help him. Please. I will. But I need to know where Thaniel is. If I venture into the shadow fell blind, I will never find him. I'm not sure I can put it into words. The landscape there shifts and changes. Uh, was there anything that could offer guidance? Something that didn't change? You know what? The force comp thing to do is let Helsin handle this. He knows exactly what he needs to do. Doesn't need us to be like in there all mixing it all up and stuff. Let Helsin handle this. <laughs> Whenever I saw Thaniel, I always smelled lavender. I can work with that. Rest now. Meet me by the lake shore. I have what we need to proceed, but I'll need your help. Be ready. This may prove perilous. Dude, this whole freaking journey has been perilous. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. That's cool. Hey, look at this. They, they've even got matching carpets over here. Or rugs, I guess. Not quite carpets. So, if we rescue Thaniel, does that mean he'll be able to lift a curse on this land? Is that what it means? Uh, with the open world game like uh, Elder Scrolls series, where Hello. it's just a big p open ocean, but it's got a depth of... This game, however, or even Witcher, a lot of stories are connected. I haven't really played that much of Skyrim, for example, to really know if the stories, the background stories are connected. But I feel like with this game and Witcher 3 as well, there's a little bit more depth to... Where, where did he go? Where the hell's he go? He's over there. Okay, yeah. And I feel like with these games, it, the stories are a little bit more focused. And even though the map, you know, right here is not as big, you know, like 16 times the detail, four times the size or something like that. It's not that big of a, a piece of land or, or, or map, but there's a lot more stuff to it. A lot more really well designed stuff. Things are a little bit more interesting and it's got more depth to it. And it seems like every quest or even like a slightly minor quest are still pretty interesting. And there's a lot of story going for it. And the main story obviously is really, really good. All right, Helsin, what you got? You're here. Good. Now we can begin. Uh, you know what? Yeah, first I want to know what to expect. Yeah. What? What is happening? Daniel is trapped in the shadow fell, but thanks to your efforts, I know where to look. Now I must go there alone. Damn it, Helsin. You know what, if he's just lying there for a century, a wouldn't, century. like, atrophy get him? He'd be, like, just a pile of meat at this point, there's no muscles at all. I will. Right? All of his muscles would have sure been atrophied. Alone? Hold on, shouldn't I come with you? What am I to do? Sounds like you don't need my help anymore. Uh, no, yeah, shouldn't I go with you? What is going on here? No. This opportunity has been a hundred years in the making. It has to be me. And only me. But I didn't bring you here to witness an old druid's grandstanding. You have a part to play in this. And I trust you will play it well. 
With the Oak Father's blessing, I can infiltrate the Shadowfell, but doing so will sap my strength. I'll need your help if I'm to return. I need you to stay here, keep the portal open until I return, and defend it at all costs. Mm, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, going alone is suicide. Uh, defend it, what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean defend it? The shadows won't be banished without a fight. Once I open the portal, they'll swarm like carrion birds and try to destroy it. You must not let that happen. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Let's no begin. problem. Whatever happens, do not attempt to enter the portal. And do not let anything interfere with it. Okay. It took okay. me years of study. Of seeking the Oak Father's favor. To find a way to part the veil. Pray that this works. Oak Father, yeah, man. hear me. Aid me. Force open the jaws of darkness. Make passage for your vessel of light. It's ready. I'll return with Thaniel as soon as possible. Stay close to the portal. Buy me what time you can. Okay. I'll do what I can. Much sooner than I had expected. Shut up, master. Oh boy. Let it chill. Holy crap, this is not going well. <laughs> That blew up the portal as well. That's not good. Oh shit, he's back. It's done. I have him. Amazing. Just in time. Holy crap. Oof. But something's wrong. Dreadfully wrong. Of course. No. It can't be. Uh, well, what do you mean? Is he dead? No. But some part of him is missing. He's hollow. Like his soul's I gone? I need to examine him back at the camp. Come see us when you can. Yeah, holy shit, dude. Oh, look at this. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Look at this stuff. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's do a quick save. And, uh, yeah, we'll finish this up next episode. Holy crap. That was a tough fight. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.